Dr. Horst here. Uh, I wanted to show you guys something um, that I see a lot in the office and it's all about hip pain. It just so happens that Erica, she's had uh, a history of hip issues and she actually had hip surgery because she had femoral acetabular impingement. So basically the head of her femur, the, it wasn't a perfect circle anymore. And so it kept getting caught. It was causing all sorts of issues. And she had surgery, how long ago was that? A year and a half. A year and a half Almost ago. Almost two years. Almost two years now. And so she's still having pain and discomfort. Um, it doesn't stop her from doing too many things, but when it does, it's really uncomfortable. And so a commonly overlooked area is actually the piriformis. And that's one of her big issues. So if we look at her butt cheek here, if we were to draw a circle and draw a line from here to there, that's basically where the piriformis is gonna be, okay? Where my hand is. And a lot of times people um, like herself that have had hip surgery, they end up having uh, long lasting issues right there. So it's a, it's a common uh, part that ends up keeping the hip kind of stuck up like that. And it causes a lot of pain and discomfort. So I just wanna show you guys um, how we usually treat something like that. So to start out with, I'm gonna have her move her leg up like this and then we're going to turn it down and I'm going to be providing a contact with my thumb in between the piriformis and the glute so that way we can actually effectively get it to slide and move like it's supposed to. So I'm going to come around and so go ahead and do that motion for me. There we go. Mm -hmm. Don't get Good. And it doesn't always feel fantastic, but as we progress, her range of motion is gonna to continue to improve and it's gonna help make it so that way that hip is actually able to rotate more effectively so that way she doesn't have as much pain and discomfort. Right there. Now I'm sure you can see her fancy shoes that she's got on. That's not always the most recommended thing for somebody with hip issues, but you know, small price to pay to look good, I guess, right? <laughs> Look okay. Look and then another commonly overlooked area is the gluteus medius, which is just a little bit higher. So now on this area, I'm just gonna have her start with her leg up like this, and I'm just gonna have her drop it back and down like that. Hold that leg up for me. Back and down for me, please. There we go. Good. Again. There. And I mean, it's uncomfortable, but this isn't, let's say if I'm a 10 sorry. out of 10 is getting your eye poked with a yeah. hot poker, I would say this is probably, we want to get her right around like a six or so right there. Okay. Relax. Okay. Now I'm just going to go back to this and I just want to see how well that's rotating now. So it rotates pretty good. She's getting a little catching up here in the front. So I'm gonna work on her psoas tendon as it comes across as well to free up more of that motion in that hip. So I'm just gonna move this for her. Right there. You're doing a good job of helping me, but just let me move it. Okay. There we go. Good, good, good. Mm. Right there. Now, because of where the muscles actually attach, this also influences the low back and her SI joint. And her SI joint, which is a sacroiliac joint, it's a joint right there. Her side likes to come up too high, okay? So we need to pull that down. Because we already know that the head of the femur is gonna be moving better after what I just worked on. Uh, she's gonna be a little sore. She's gonna probably wanna ice just a little bit, um, but she's gonna be feeling better after she gets off the table. So now I'm just going to go ahead and get that SI joint adjusted real quick. This is the part that everybody gets nervous about seeing a chiropractor getting adjusted. This is the easy part compared to actually doing the active release technique. Little pressure, just right there. Perfect. And that's it. So if you or somebody you know has a history of hip issues or hip surgery, 
let us know. Uh, we definitely can help you. Take care.